sort of five years and running oh, so wow. far. Okay. So it's a big difference for sort of a heavy user. Mm -hmm. um, and they have it, I'm guessing they've got it running sort of 80% of their day. Um, I'm not sure it's quite running that much to I be honest with you. Because they, they try all different fruits through it. Um, mm -hmm. But it's it's pretty much on and off most of the days really. Right. Because it's so quick, yeah. as you will see. Um, so sorry. It's very easy if I sort of so for cleaning wise, all you do is you flip that down. Yeah. That comes off, that can go over to the sink. That, this that comes down. The machine. That can go through a machine, yeah. That can go through. That all comes off. That all can go through. All go through the machine, yeah. Um, very easy. Back together. The only thing that you will have to do is um, you have to replace this every so often. Um, and all it is is three screws, and you can buy that disc, and it's probably maybe about every 12 months or something like okay. that. Um, they're about £30 to replace, and you buy them through. Chris again at Stevenson's, mm -hmm. um, and all that will do, it'll be a false economy not to change it because it will reduce your yield massively, because as that goes blunt, yeah, the, the less yield you're going to get from, right, from okay. the fruit. So it's not, it doesn't uh, slow it down or anything, it's just... It doesn't slow it down, no, it's, um, I mean eventually as it goes really blunt it will put more pressure on the motor, mm -hmm. um, but I don't think you'll ever get to that stage because as it gets that blunt you'll be thinking, God there's hardly any, any yield coming through the... Yeah the machine at all. So, do I need to wait for the filmer? No, it's good. It's good. It's okay, so all you got to do, don't think of this as a plunger, okay? You don't want to be forcing it down, it's gravity fed. Okay, so the, the less pressure you put on, the better it is. So you don't have to worry about coring it, peeling it or anything, just leave it on. Two apples, obviously, as you see. Then the first one came out like yellow, and the second one came red. Depends on the skin. Okay. All depends on the skin. Wow. Perfect apple juice. And as you can see, that's all it's wasted. That is all it's wasted. There's a little bit more under there. Yeah. Not much. And any, will that, does any get stuck in the disc? Nope. Can you okay. show that to camera? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course, can you? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, it's bottom. Okay. Okay, mm. <laughs> a little bit in the disc. Okay, all you would need to do now, okay, so if you and then wanted something to run through and you didn't want um, apple taste in it, just get yourself a jug of water. So, all you would do. Fine. So you could put something you could put something else through it now, but it would have a slight taste of Slight apple. taste, not too much. But if you were doing something and it didn't have any apple taste at all, um, all you do switch it on again, make sure I've angled that correctly. That was good. That's rinsed all the fruit juice up, so you're good to go again with the next product and you don't get any taste of apple there on there. No. Um, it's for if obviously if your next product's apple, you don't have to worry about rinsing it out. Mm -hmm. It's only if you're going to do something completely different, and I don't know what your menu is going to be. Mm -hmm. um, but still got apple thing on it, but it's, there'll be no actual taste on there. There'll be no residue on it. So. Uh, but if, if you wanted to, I mean, all it is, it's as simple as 
pulling that up. Okay, so the fruit's coming on the pl- onto the plate and going through, and that, and then the waste is coming up the sides. Yes. So that yeah, okay. Yeah. So the new stuff is not going to hit that. Yeah. Yeah. So it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. What if you're doing like a combination juice? Would you would you put two things in together if you're doing yeah. a combination juice? So. Yeah. So what is it you? Have you got a menu yet for smoothies? No. No, absolutely not. I well, what are the most, you all know better, I guess, the most popular at the juice bars? Um, I imagine they stock there a lot of vegetables, like celery. There is apple, a lot, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, the only thing that you have got to consider is um, if you're going to be doing things like oranges through it, mm-hmm. there's no problem with that. But obviously, because the orange peel is quite bitter, you, you need to peel the pot because it will automatically juice up. So if you have oranges, just peel them. Mm-hmm. If you've got um, pineapples, pineapples is another one you have to peel because of how hard it is, but there's no juices out there that can sure you're enough, can cope with those. Them, yeah. So what about a fruit with a stone in? And um, you need to take, how big the stone are you referring to? Peaches, eggplants, plums. Peach you need to take the stones out of, out right. of the plum. But it's just literally a case of just obviously cutting it just off. get that stone take, out, yeah, yeah. And then chuck the rest through. Little bits, I mean, like the seeds and the apples, obviously no issues, but something that's too big that's going to literally cause the machine damage, then yeah, I would say anything above. And mango, so like a mango, you do obviously need to take the stone out, uh, but the skin would be fine. Skin would be fine, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, the stone would need to come out. Um, Is there any limitations to vegetables? Carrots, carrots, carrots through, no problem. Carrots, phenomenal through it. Yeah. Uh, really? Beetroot. I mean, that's quite where a lot of the market's going towards, yeah. is the sort of bit. Celery's Sel- nice quite stringy. Vegetable. Does that go through all right? Sorry? Celery is quite stringy. Does celery go goes through right? it okay, yeah. yeah. Um, what's, the, uh, what's the yield like on stuff like. Um, like a, ban- a banana, obviously, there's. No, no yield, I'm afraid, for a banana. Um, you, put a, you, you put a banana through it and it would just literally plop out the back. It just wouldn't, wouldn't yeah. even get any juice through it. Mm-hmm. Um, the um, yield of most things that have got juice into them, um, I mean things that go into a smoothie like banana, mm-hmm. obviously that's a completely different machine, you never get juice yeah, in yeah, a banana. Yeah, yeah. Um, but things that do have liquid like beetroot, there's very, um, anything like that, celery, I mean celery's got quite a lot. Um, lettuce, um, I mean I've even seen someone doing a burnt lettuce through here. Yeah, um, yeah well, well lettuce is 90% water. Yeah. So you burn the lettuce, put it through. Kale? Uh, kale, kale goes through, yeah. The only thing with kale is the fact that you've got to put it with something because yeah, yeah. it's a leafy product. So you doesn't have the weight, doesn't it? Not have, does it not have the weight to kind of hold it down? Is it? It's just because it's it, yeah. it needs that product to go through with it. So if you don't like kale and apple, you put some apple in there with the kale in there. Mm-hmm. Um, there's no problem there. Same as spinach as well. Yeah. Um, if you're doing spinach, it's a bit fiddly, but not you get used to it. Um, if you're doing I don't know, spinach and apple again, or, or spinach and orange. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that would go together, but you just put them in together, sort of thing. Yeah. So if you just put the, the spinach in on its own, because there's no liquid to sort of mix with it, it, it won't do a great deal. Right. So, but in terms of that, I mean, you've seen how quick it is. It's, mm. Can you uh, have a go? Yeah, crush can, yeah, yeah. yeah. Crush can. Have we got any other fruits? Or we just I've got some oranges because um, I was limited on choice in carbs if I wanted to eat it. Stop it, I told you. Stop you could put some oranges through. I don't think one knife, that'd be just. Uh, yeah, can't just have a knife like that. That's what you're not a dog would be. You've got it, you see. You must have a knife here because you, it's your kitchen. <laughs> well, um, yeah. You did have a knife here. There'll be one somewhere. Don't be putting There you go, look at that. Look, uh... Oh, you want not want them peeling or not? Just in half? No, 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 I'm going to peel them up, but I'm just going to... Anyway. Straight to the dishwasher. That goes through. That's heavy, then it looks. Thank you. The uh, 
So, apple wise, apples, pears, carrots, anything like that can all go through. You're looking about three for like a big glass. Yeah. Or four ten maybe. Uh, ten ounce. Yeah. You actually, if I'm honest with you, the older the, the vegetable, the more yield you get from it. Okay. So, because these are quite new, been in a fridge, so, yeah. um, if they're actually kept out of a fridge as well, you'll get more yield out of them. Right. Um, because these are quite new, that they're, they're literally um, um, not the best for juicing. Yeah. But. Just pop that on, that just secures it in place. It won't go without that? No. And then just press green? Yeah, press green. Okay. And then you've got some oranges here. Then, yeah, you don't need it. Pretty slow, but So if you're thinking, I mean, what, an apple is about 20p an apple now, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so if you're looking at 60p for a glass, and you're going to be, I think most people are retailing them about three, four pound now, aren't we, for a fresh juice? So... Yeah, we'd easily get three pounds. No, no. Yeah. yeah. Easily. People pay it quite happily. And the actual theatre of doing it there is then as well. Um, because it's relatively quiet, because it's noise small. Against, isn't it? Yeah. You can actually do it on the bar. Yeah. It, it's just... It, it wasn't really it designed... Was it designed to be customer facing? Um, I don't quite know to be honest with you if that was how it was ever designed, if I'm brutally honest. But we do have a lot of places that have these on the bar. Um, Oaxaca is one of the ones that we have that... Um, I don't know if you know that brand at all. No. They have them on the bar. She was an ex master chef, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, she was. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah, she was master chef. She had these. She tried these against no. some of our competitors for the yield, good. and these were actually wow. were massively better than the competitors for the yield. Okay. Um, okay. And I can get you a thing from. Oh, it's not Joe and the Juice. It's another juice bar in London, and they changed to these. They had. Um, 43 of them and they saved four tons of fruit a year by oh, changing to ours from a wow. competitor's and I can get you an actual thing from them that actually states that wow. um, because that they, they've actually gave us that as as proof that yeah, they yeah. have so the, that's their it, yeah, cost yeah. savings. Oh, and just right. to, to the difference between that and the J100, it's just the exhaust in the back, is that right? So the J100 is, no, it's, it's a bigger machine, bigger motor, um, sit slightly higher. Um, bigger opening? James Turner. It doesn't have a bigger opening, no. <laughs> it it doesn't that. have a bigger opening, no, it's <laughs> exactly the same size. Um, the, only the only other difference is... And the disc is the same size and everything. Else. Everything else is yeah. exactly the same. It's just a bigger motor, slightly taller machine. And an exhaust the back. Straight yeah. to the waste bin, right? You can have an exhaust so it goes into the waste bin. Or you can have them set up like this. It all depends what you want to do. Is that an option book? Yes. Oh right, I didn't realise that. Right. Yeah. So you could have sort of an exit. So it sits sits at the back of the table yeah. with a bin sat there, so you don't have to worry about keep emptying it. So all you would have is a is a bin like this, just sat there yeah. with the waste going Does straight it, into it. Spray it. or no? No. Okay. Should and it is straight. Should we try an apple and orange? Yeah, of course you can. You try all the plus fruits, it's, it'll only be going in the bin if you don't want to take it with you afterwards. So. You do get some danger annoyed by that when you actually have a you catch a pit or something like that. Or. Those two. All depends on the on exact on the fruit. There's no exact science to which one's going to give you more. I'm afraid. Sometimes you get uh, it's well, like I say, warm fruit that's actually slightly a couple of days old is is better. I'll stop this. Now. 
Red button, red yeah. button. Where the hell's the red button?